People are always curious for the weather. Will it rain today? How warm will it be? Will it freeze tonight? When do we get some sun? Weather conditions and forecasts are visible in many forms. Newspaper, television, radio, website, smartphone, etc. In some environments, they use large television screens to display all kinds of information like news, events and weather information. You find those displays at gas stations, information kiosks, waiting areas, pubs and so on. But they do not want just to display the Yahoo weather webpage, but they want to show this information in their own custom running presentation. The technology behind those dynamic data-driven screens are dynamic presentations. When you think about presentations, you say PowerPoint. But unfortunately, PowerPoint presentations are static. Tools like DataPoint can bring this dynamic feature into a static PowerPoint presentation. In this video, I will show you how you can bind online weather information to your presentation. A good weather service that provides free weather information is Yahoo. They provide weather information in XML format and DataPoint can read that information on a regular basis and display this in real time on your monitor. Let me show you how you can show the current weather of Chicago in a presentation. For more information on how to configure the URL of your desired location, please visit the Yahoo Weather API documentation. This is the URL that is returning the Chicago weather conditions in XML format. And this we will use in PowerPoint. So here I have a presentation with a background image and a few text boxes where I want to display the city, the condition and the temperature. I now go to the data point menu and I click the list button for the connections. I go to the XML node and I click Add Connection. Now I go back to the browser, I copy the URL, going back to my PowerPoint and I paste this URL here and I click OK. I rename this connection. And now I click Add Query. Now I'm going to use the location table for more information about the location. I rename this query into location. Okay, I add a new query and now I'm looking for the condition table. Here it is. Okay, and I rename this into condition. You see the preview already and now we have the connection established. I select the city text box here, I click text box in the data point menu, data connection is location, column is city, so all the defaults are right here, and now Chicago is linked. I select the condition text box, again here I click the text box, I choose the data connection, I switch to condition, the column I set to text, because that column is returning the value that I want to display. It's light snow, we see in the preview. That's linked. Now for the temperature, I select the text box and again I click text box in the data point menu. I switch to condition and the column is temperature. So that's 27 Fahrenheit. But I need to add some more. I go to the text tab, suffix and I use the degree sign and Fahrenheit sign. Okay, that's fine. Now I go to the last update time. I switch. I switch the data connection to condition and the column is the date. Okay, looks fine. Now let me add some more here. I'm going back in to the text box. I click the text tab and I enter a prefix last updated at and I click OK. Now as a final step I want to display a weather icon so I insert a picture I choose a default weather icon like this one and now I'm going to link this picture 
via data point to the Yahoo weather source. So I go back to data point picture. It's asking me to convert this into a data point picture. Yes, I choose the data connection condition and the column is code. Because Yahoo weather service is using codes. Code 14 means light snow. So let me show you here we have a folder of all the weather icons that there are and here we have the 14. I'm copying this path going back to PowerPoint. So the options I'm going to change here. The file name only is returned. I'm setting the folder. The extension is PNG and here I see the icon. I don't want to use the black one but I want to use the white icons. There we go. Now the icon is linked dynamically to the weather service. Now we start the slideshow and you can see that the temperature was increased. So it was updated by the Yahoo weather service. So during my slideshow the data point add-on will continuously check the weather service and it will update the information uh, on screen.